My name is Stephen Sindoni. Thank you for tuning in to the broadcast of Legends of Mount Shasta Revealed, the Castle Craig's Petroglyphs. Located just west of Interstate 5, between the towns of Costella and Dunsmuir, Castle Craig's is today a popular tourist resort along the highway. It is situated along an ancient trade route and travel route known as the Siskiyou Trail. Castle Craig's is a dramatic and well-known feature in Northern California. The mountains of Northern California consist largely of rocks of volcanic and sedimentary origin dating back as far as the Jurassic period. Heavy glaciation at this location during the Pleistocene eroded much of the softer surrounding rock leaving the towering crags and spires exposed from which the Castle Craig's Pluton derived its name. Exfoliation of huge convex slabs of granite yielded rounded forms such as the prominent castle dome features of Castle Craig's. Elevations range from 2,000 feet along the Sacramento River near the base of the crags to over 6,500 feet at the summit of the tallest crag. Castle Craig's has witnessed dramatic events. Strained relationships between 1850s California gold rush miners and the local native Indian populations resulted in the 1855 Battle of Castle Craig's in which the poet Joaquin Miller was wounded and which he later described in an essay of the same name. Exploitation of the land by lumber and mining operations encouraged concerned citizens in 1933 to acquire much of the land which would eventually become Castle Craig State Park. In an area where mystery is omnipresent, here is yet another perplexing and unsolved puzzle of the ages, the Castle Craig's petroglyphs discovered several decades ago by two Dunsmuir High School students and the late Frank Bascom. This story can be found in Emily Frank's book, Mount Shasta, California's Mystic Mountain. The story is entitled, The Baffling Castle Craig's Petroglyphs. Flowing through the lower slopes of Castle Craig's is Little Castle Creek, and it was in this area that the high school boys were hiking one sunny day. Tarrying a while besides a huge cleft boulder, one of them casually brushed aside some loose material and was startled to find the impression of a human hand on the boulder, a man's hand. The imprint had been chiseled into the granite and filled with a red cement-like solution used apparently for the purpose of keeping any growth of vegetation from covering the symbol. Excitedly, the boys hunted for more carvings and nearby found two more symbols, serpentine in form. Then, on the opposite side of the border, they found another hand, smaller and more delicately molded, which obviously represented a female hand. Hurrying home to relate their mysterious find, they returned shortly with Frank Bascom, who was associated with the United States Forest Service and also dabbled in archaeology and geology. The boys led the way up Castle Creek Canyon, on up the Mount Bradley Road, then hiked along the banks of Castle Creek. Finally, the threesome reached the Graven Rock. More searching revealed in a willow clump a second set of carvings, which included two Maltese cross designs, one created in a zigzag line decorated with dots, and the other composed of two E-like characters. Intrigued, Bascom immediately reported the discovery to the Shasta National Forest officials, and a third trip was made to the site. More carvings were found nearby. On a rock upstream, which measured about eight feet in height, were found a male and female hand and more petroglyphs. The palm of the male hand bore an engraving similar to a capital E, and the female hand bore a curious double triangle symbol. On the opposite side of the boulder, they found the likeness of a bovine head. Bascom, certain that they had made an important discovery, returned to the area accompanied by George Schrader and other personnel from the U.S. Forest Service. This group investigated the fastening petroglyphs. Bascom then wrote an article 
about the Castle Creek experiences in which he stated, The facts stand out that the petroglyphs or symbols chiseled in the coarse granite rocks up Castle Creek show greater skill and symmetry and a higher degree of culture than any found elsewhere in different places of southwestern United States. The petroglyphs have been colored a reddish hue with some unknown liquid solution and it was evidently used to keep any growth of vegetation from covering the symbols. The people who did this work were no doubt artists possessing great skill. On what is now two large boulders there was at some remote time one huge rock which at some time was cleft asunder. The symbols are on the east side of these two rocks. Those on the rock to the south reveal a large man's hand painted with some unknown stain. In the palm of the hand is chiseled the all-seeing eye and on the rock to the north is a beautifully shaped woman's hand in whose palm is chiseled a form of the swastika which is thought to be a very ancient symbol of the four rivers of life or eternity. The swastika symbol is pre-Christian in origin and was found in the ruins of the lost continent of Lemuria Mu as well as in India, China, and Tibet. On the heels of these remarkable petroglyph discoveries came various interpretations. Letters were exchanged with the Department of Anthropology at the University of California. Communications came from authorities at Stanford University and from the Academy Press in New Jersey came a letter to Frank Bascom from Alvin Boyd Kuhn stating that he thought the symbols had been chiseled into the boulders by local Indians. Bascom replied, This I doubt. In talking with the highest type of the older local Indians, they state that this work was not chiseled by Indians. Bascom added, Churchill in his Lost Continent of Mew lists six of the symbols found at Castle Craig's the swastika, a form of the Maltese cross, the triangle, the all-seeing eye, the serpent, and the three steps to the throne. He found these symbols engraved on clay tablets in the temples of India as they existed in the sunken continent of Mu, and I consider them authentic. And so, the controversy continued. Considering the age of Castle Craig's, local persons, including Bascom, insisted that these mystic symbols were carved into the granite rock in a prehistoric era, and these theories are supported by those who believe that Mount Shasta area, indeed part of the last remaining portion of the vast continent of Lemuria, which sank into the Pacific Ocean together with most of its ancient, advanced, and highly skilled civilization. The Castle Craig's petroglyphs still remain a mystery. Who carved the delicate, intricate symbols into the hard granite boulders and when and why will probably always be just another mystery in an area where mysteries abound. Thank you for listening to Legends of Mount Shasta Revealed, The Castle Craigs.